Okay, this video we're going to talk about reference angles, and, and a quick definition as we showing up here is a reference angle is let theta be an angle in standard position, and the reference angle is the acute angle, uh, and this is pretty important right here. Your reference angle is always going to be an acute angle, less than 90 degrees, formed by the terminal side of theta and the horizontal axis. So there are rules for each quadrant. Uh, for a reference angle. The easiest one is quadrant one. Uh, the rule is itself. So if I gave a reference angle for the 60 degree angle, then it's just 60 degrees. Or if we're in radians pi over 3, uh, then pi over 3 is the reference angle. So for instance, also if I said, all right, what's the reference angle for pi over 4? Well, then the reference angle is going to be pi over 4. So no work really involved for quadrant one. Uh, so let's move on to quadrant two. For quadrant two, uh, we'll be able to visualize what a reference angle is here a little bit more. Uh, we have the rule where it's theta, or excuse me, pi minus theta for in radians, or 180 degrees minus theta for in degrees. So if we pick something that's in the second quadrant, for instance, 150 degrees, and I want the reference angle. Well, since we're in degrees, I'm just going to take, by rule, I'm going to take 180 degrees minus 150 degrees and we're going to wind up with 30 degrees. Now visually speaking what we're talking about is this. If I have just a simple uh, x and y axis right here and I go 150 degrees this way, there's my 150 degree angle right there, then the reference angle is this angle right here formed with the terminal side, that's the ending ray right here, and the x-axis, and that's your 30 degree angle that's right here. So this angle right here, this 30 degrees, is our reference angle. So if we did this also in radians, like say if I took 2 pi over 3, and I know that that is in quadrant 2, and so again the rules for quadrant 2 say I have to take pi minus 2 pi over 3. So I got to get a common denominator. So I'll go with the 3 on the bottom and the 3 on the top. So 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 is going to wind up being pi over 3. And again, notice that our answers, the 30 degrees and this pi over 3, those are acute angles. So that's what you have to make sure of for that. And then moving on here, let's figure out now what do we have for quadrant 3. Quadrant 3, the rules are stated that you have to take the angle minus pi if we're in radians or the angle minus 180 degrees if, if we're in degrees. So picking an angle such as 210 degrees, by rule, they say that I have to take 210 degrees minus 180 degrees and I get 30 degrees. And again, visually speaking, I know that if I've got a 210 degree angle right here, then the reference angle is the terminal side that just we just finished up with. Let's see if I get a different color. This it's not showing up too well. We'll go with a this angle right here is our reference angle. So there's your 30 degree angle that's in there. We can do one example that's in radians. Uh, for instance, 5 pi over 4. And again, I'm going to take by rule here that angle and I'm going to subtract pi from that. So by getting a common denominator, common denominator of 5 pi over 4 minus 4 pi over 4, my reference angle is going to wind up being pi over 4. And again, an, an acute angle, that's 45 degrees there in degree mode for uh, pi over 4 equivalent. So I, again, I know that that is a, an acute angle for the reference angle. So now let's move on to quadrant 4. Quadrant 4's rules are 2 pi minus theta or 360 degrees minus theta. So looking at simple angle that's in quadrant 4. Let's say we pick something like uh, 330 degrees. 
I know that I'm in degree mode, so I got 360 minus that, so 360 degrees minus 330, and then I'll wind up with 30 degrees, and I can do the same thing for a radian measure. Now, the only thing that becomes a little bit tricky is what if you don't know what quadrant you are in? So, for instance, let's say I wind up with something like, or the reference angle I'm trying to find is the reference angle for 11 pi over 6. Well, if I look at 11 pi over 6 and I try to look at my um, unit circle, so one thing is I just got to know my equivalent. So this is the equivalent of 330 degrees. And I know that for quadrant 4, similar to the one we just did there, or exactly the same one. So I could take 360 minus 330. And I know that it's 30 degrees. So I got to know my equivalents uh, if I don't know that one. Or if I have something that's actually bigger uh, on the unit circle, such as something like 15 pi over 4. Now, if I look at my unit circle, I know 15 pi over 4 is not on there. So I'm actually going to have to find a coterminal angle. And if we remember from the earlier part of trig, a coterminal angle, uh, you have to add or subtract 2 pi to that. So if I'm going to take 15 pi over 4 and I subtract 2 pi from this, and getting a common denominator, so that's going to wind up actually being 8 pi over 4. So 15 minus 8, that's going to be 7 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4 is actually on your unit circle. That's the equivalent of 315 degrees. And my rule again for quadrant 4 means that I have to take 2 pi minus 7 pi over 4. So i got to get a common denominator of 4. That makes that 8 pi over 4. So my reference angle actually winds up being pi over 4 for my answer. So there's the rules and some examples that go with reference angles.